Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we have two of the same model iPhone 5S. Both of these devices obviously don't have the best of battery life as they both have original batteries, but let's use a program called iMazing to see exactly what the battery health of each battery is. Okay, so first thing is first, the black iPhone 5S doesn't even power on until it's charging for like 10 minutes. It cannot hold a charge and the battery life is quite awful when it can hold one. On the other hand, the gold 5S can hold a charge and doesn't take that long to charge, but the battery life on iOS 11 is less than enjoyable. So let's get both of these devices plugged in and find out exactly what the battery health is and if either of these qualify for a battery replacement. Okay, so we have iMazing on our screen here. We are on the iMac and let's take a look at exactly what we have here. So we have our iPhone 10. That is not a device that we are gonna be looking at. We are going to be looking at the iPhone 5S here and the iPhone 5S here. Now this is the 5S that's running iOS 11.3 and obviously this is running iOS 10.3.2. So let's start out with iOS 11.3. Um, this device, this is the gold iPhone and let's see exactly what our battery health is. So this is actually a free feature. All you have to do is go down to the battery icon here and click on it. And this is all within the free, free version, as I said before. Um, and this will give you your battery health. So as you can see, we have a current charge of 59% and our battery health is at 93%. So that's actually not too bad, which tells us that iOS 11.3 is really the culprit when it comes to our poor battery life. Now you can see a lot more information here on the right hand side, something that I have been asking Apple to do for a really long time to include in the device in iOS 11 or in iOS 10 and really show us exactly what our battery health is. Now we can see that we are having um, quite a high count of battery cycles. We're at 809 here. That's quite high, but that's okay. Um, we're still at 93% battery health. I wouldn't recommend a battery replacement at this point because we're dealing with um, some pretty old hardware and basically iOS 11.3 is not going to perform really well unless you have a different device, not really necessarily a new battery. So let's take a look at the other iPhone, the one that can't really hold a charge and really has poor battery life. And that is running iOS 10.3.2. So we'll click on the battery icon here. Oh, and you can see that we have 1%. Now the other day this was at 3% and the battery health is just really poor. So we definitely do need a battery replacement, but what I think you should really take a look at is our battery charge cycles. Now, it's really weird how we can go from around 800 to 910 and have drastically different numbers here. So it looks like we're dealing with a battery that is not so great off. We're actually looking at a battery that would qualify for a battery replacement given the charge cycles isn't really that high considering it's an iPhone. So really we should be looking at a battery replacement here and that should improve our battery life to the point where it was. Now you can get this program, I'll have a link down below where you can see iMazing and all of these features that it comes with. It comes with a ton of other features which I will be reviewing in the future, but this battery section, this battery health icon section here is really important. So guys, that's how you can find your battery health using iMazing. Thank you all for watching this video and make sure to give us a like and get subscribed on your way out. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. So check out the link below. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash tech review to find out more information and get your starter kit today.